Let's take a look at this problem. We want to solve each polynomial equation by factoring and then using the zero product principle. Zero factor property is another name for that. And I guess I should start a new page. Okay. We got uh, 4 is equal to negative 72 x to the third plus 9x squared plus 32x. Now to use the zero, zero factor property, you have to have zero on one side. So I'm going to take these three terms on the right side and move them to the left side. Now the reason why I chose that direction to move everything to, I, I'd like the number that's in front of my x to the largest power to be positive. So that becomes 72x to the third uh, minus 9x squared minus 32x plus 4 equal to 0. Now um, I look for the GCF first, there isn't any, so I'm going to factor by grouping. Uh, four more terms. So I group first two together, group last two together. First two have a 9 and x squared in common, and that gives me uh, 8x minus 1. Second group, uh, they're both divisible by 4, and the first term is negative, so I factor out a negative 4, and that gives us 8x minus 1. Now remember our goal in grouping is to get this parentheses the same as this, which it is. So I'll factor the 8x minus 1 out in front. And you can cross those out to see what goes in your second set of parentheses, which would be our 9x squared minus 4. Now we're going to use the difference of two squares. And because 3 times 3 gives you 9, x times x gives you x squared, and 2 times 2 gives you 4. So this factor is as 3x plus 2 times 3x minus 2. Now zero factor property it says you get zero on one side, you factor the other side, you set each factor equal to zero. It doesn't matter how many there are. So we'll say 8x minus 1 equal to zero, 3x plus 2 equal to zero, and 3x minus 2 equal to zero. Take a negative 1 over, we get a positive 1. Divide both sides by 8. And we get x is equal to 1 eighth. And this one take 2 over, becomes a negative 2. Divide both sides by 3. And we get x is equal to negative 2 thirds. On this one take the negative 2 over, becomes a positive 2. Divide both sides by 3 again. And we get x is equal to 2 thirds. And those are our three answers.